Welcome back, everyone. We are here with another What Sold on eBay video. My name is Cameron. Go by Cam. Flashback finds of the channel. We're going to go over what's sold in the store and how I'm making some money picking up items at garage sales, thrift stores, or wherever I can find them to make a few bucks for the family. So it's a great business. I hope you guys, if you're not doing it already, you should try it. Hopefully, you'll be able to find some of these items out there or get an idea of what types of items to look for. The biggest thing about reselling is growing in your knowledge base about what to sell. A lot of times uh, you just kind of get an eye for things. Even though if you may not find the exact item I had, you have an eye for something like that and you'll see something similar, it'll trigger your memory and then you'll be out there in the field and be able to find it. So we're going to go over a couple things that sold here. Quite a few actually. I think there's probably 40 something uh, items that sold over the course of just a th three days. The quarter four, quarter four has been great for me. I definitely cannot complain. And um, one of the reasons I love selling such a variety of stuff is you cast a wider net and obviously you have a better chance of getting sales coming in. Plus it's boring to list the same old t-shirts over and over again, in my opinion. So let's get into it and go over what's sold. First off, Match Game. Uh, the very best is a DVD set, 16 episodes. This one was brand new sealed. Uh, when you're at the thrift store, if you don't want to look into media too much, just look at brand new sealed stuff. If you don't want to take the time to learn the other DVDs, just quickly scan for sealed TV series or sealed DVDs you haven't heard of. Scan them real quick. This one was brand new sealed. Looked it up. It sold for $30 shipped. We're in it for about 4 bucks plus tax, so we paid up a bit. But I'll take $30 on a $4 sale any day, especially if it's going to go media mail. We have a Sony remote here. This is the RMSGP5. Not that that model number means anything to you, but this remote did sell. When you're looking at remotes, there's a way to test them with your camera. Go on YouTube. You just basically turn the camera so it's looking at the remote or whatever, like inverted or whatever. Put some batteries in and push the buttons. You should see like a little light pop up on your um, camera screen showing that it's getting some kind of infrared signal. There's a video on it though, but you can test them out pretty easy. That gives you a good idea if something they're working. And then um, if they look good, look up the model and you can make some money. $14 shipped on this little remote. Uh, Jose Marie Chan, Christmas in Our Hearts. This, these sales were right at the beginning of December. So right before the Christmas season, this CD sold for $30 shipped. I'm not particularly sure on this artist, but a lot of the CDs I got from this artist were pretty high dollar. So 30 bucks on that one CD there. Only took about a week or so to sell. Michael Jackson, The Experience for the Xbox 360. A game a lot of people seem to pass on. It's not worth a ton, but it sells every time for me. So if I can get it for a buck or less, or if it's in a big bundle, I know I'll make a few bucks. And I got $9 shipped, and that one sold within about a day. So pretty quickly. Johnny Rivers, Greatest Hits CD, sold for $9.99. Guys, when I'm taking these pictures for CDs, I'm taking just a couple of pics. So there's this picture right here. Usually I'll do one of the back to show the barcode as well as what songs are there. And then maybe one of the front of the case and that's it. Not much effort goes into them and I'm still able to get more than the people who are just using the stock photos. A Disney Sorrow, you can tell by the background, it's a little bit of an older listing. This one was brand new sealed, but it had some damage to the box. You could tell it was dented in at the corner. This one I think I got from Storage Unit Guy a long time ago. Finally sold it on a best offer of 46 bucks. Had it listed at 90, but uh, it was already at 30% off, so it already come down quite a bit, 60 something bucks. And I looked at the comps. There were some going for a little bit higher, but mine had damage. I took the $46 offer. I'm happy to move it out of here, especially for something that's been up so long. And um, yeah, the person, I don't have good feedback, but they definitely didn't open a return yet, so that's good iPhone boxes, this is the time of the year where people are probably sending them out as gag gifts or maybe buying a phone for Christmas. Who knows? iPhone X, 64 gigs, sold for $8 shipped. Again, not much to it. A couple photos, ships in a bubble mailer for me. Usually goes out for around three something, maybe four bucks tops to ship it out. A 1982 Ford car truck manual. You guys have sell, seen me sell a lot of truck manuals, shop manuals, and they are great. This one was not so good. Didn't have a lot of value. Finally sold for $9 shipped. I want to say shipping was $4 and something, so we did not make much on it. But we listed all those manuals, and most have sold, and a lot of them in the beginning were selling for $100, $80, $40, $50, $60, bucks, a lot of money, but we kind of have some of the stragglers here left. We have a Nintendo DS Lite Onyx. This is the black version. The DS Lights have a couple of known issues. One of them is the broken hinge that happens a lot. This one powers up and will play, but the top screen was broken. The bottom screen worked, and it had a broken hinge. It sold for $28 shipped as is. Got to test those things out. You'll tell the hinge is broken because sometimes the top LCD part will kind of come loose. Or you can see that the it should like be whatever color the unit is. You should be able to see that around the hinge. And if that's missing, you can see kind of open an open area there. That means obviously it's broken. So look out for those because it's pretty well known to happen. The Rolling Stones Interviews. This is a book from the Rock and Roll Buy. Sold for $10.19 on sale. We sold a Zodak, a 1981 
Massive Universe figure. This one sold for a $20 ship. No accessories but the little chess piece. Ended up getting 20 bucks on that one. An HO Train. This is the Tyco Santa Fe Manitua. Sold for $14.99. Sold as is. I didn't have a way to test it at the time. Ended up getting $15 on that. An Unlimited Power Book by Anthony Robbins. $11.39. That's, all. That's from the big book buy. Anthony Robbins stuff. Some of the CD sets do well. Don't go crazy on it though. Some of them are not as valuable, but might be worth your time if you find a few. Here is one of the busts of the of the week, I guess, or of this video. Turbo Super Stunt Squad sold for six seventy four. Listed at nine. Took a twenty five percent off sale to get rid of it. I paid two bucks at a Goodwill. I was under the impression that this game was valuable. I didn't look it up. Turns out I think the Wii U version is the valuable one, not the Wii one. And it finally sold. So we all make mistakes. Happy to get it out of here, though. Essentials of Oceanography, the 11th edition. This book had stickers on it. It had writing in it. It was heavily used. It was only a dollar, though, and it sold for 20 shipped. It went out medium mail. Uh, we have an Ultimate R&B Christmas CD by Nat King Cole. That, not by Nat. It's got Nat King Cole on there. I think a couple other artists. This one sold for $9 shipped. Again, a Christmas CD selling before Christmas. Obviously, that makes sense. It was a time to list them, at least in November, to get them up. Uh, New York Giant, or sorry, sorry, a San Francisco Giants baseball jersey. It's like a batting practice mesh jersey, pretty light, no names on it or anything. Brand new with tags, sold for $35 shipped. We got it for, I think, 7 or 8 bucks, and ended up selling for 35 It went out first class. We have a Bernito brush heads. These are like some uh, replacement for the Philips Sonicare. I listed them. They were a brand new open box. They sold for $10 ships, so not a whole lot. I paid a buck for them. You got to be careful sometimes, though, when you're listing replacement parts that are for something. Don't list them as the Philips brand if they're not. Sometimes they can get like a Vero violation there. So you want to make sure if you're going to, if you can list them, put that it's a replacement for what it, whatever the brand is. Don't say that it is that brand. You can get in trouble. A pair of SAS Free Time Women's Size 10 shoes. These ones sold for $35 shipped. They were a dollar. They had some wear on the inside. The soles were kind of a little stained up, but the, they still had a lot of life left, but definitely the inside of the shoe had more wear. So I just listed them for $35, full price sale, no offer. Someone bought them within a couple days. They shipped out for around $9, and we did okay. We only paid, I think, a dollar or two for them out in the state sale. Uh, this is a Spooner, the vintage reverse print. This has got, the, I think, the Hawaiian flag on there and some floral stuff. This one ended up selling for $30 on a best offer. I'm in it for... Probably two or three bucks. I got a bunch of them at one time. I listed at 45 and that's kind of where I start a little high and just take offers. 30 bucks is where I want it to be at the minimum, and that's what I got, 30 bucks on it. Here is a Razer Ergo adjustable pogo stick. Should have a video with me trying to do this. Probably could have killed myself, but either way, I did not do that. Did not get hurt either, but um, it would have been funny to think about to watch. Uh, this one, though, it had, um, there was two of them. I got them for, I think, 15 bucks for the pair or 20 bucks for the pair. I sold one right away for $80 shipped. It sold almost instantly. Um, you think it'd be hard to pack up, but they actually fold, like, the little peg things and little feet stands fold inward, and you can kind of lower the handlebar. So it gets real compact, and it only costs, like, $14 to ship it. So not too bad, and this one sold finally about a, mm, four months later now. It sold for $72 ship, so not a bad deal there, or 72 bucks, only cost around 14 to ship it. A Polaroid One Step Flash, this one sold for $23 shipped. Polaroids are starting to sell for me, guys, and they're almost going for what they were before when Retrospect was buying them all. You're not making a ton, though, so I ship mine out usually in a padded flat rate, a little crazy, a little risky, but I bubble wrap them. As much bubble as I can fit, so they can fit nicely in the uh, pot. Yeah. So they can fit nicely in a pad flat rate. Go ahead, bubble them, put them in there, and ship them out. You're about nine dollars or whatever it is, eight dollars or something to ship them. The rest of the money is yours to keep there after the fees. So you don't want to pay a ton for them, but you can make a few bucks on the Polaroids. And certain models do better than others. Here is a Curly Hughes Play Along Bendable Doll. This is a pretty big doll, but I got it for two dollars at a garage sale. Didn't look it up; it just looked cool. Looked like it had a 2002 tag on it, so I knew it was older. Ended up finally selling for $28.11 on sale. Shipping was around $12. So I made a little bit of money. I made $10 on it or so. Took a chance on it. If I would have looked it up, I may have not actually bought it because it doesn't sell that well, but I thought it might, and I was happy to get it out of here. Uh, Dyson D07. This is the little part on a vacuum. I've sold quite a few of this particular Dysons before. A lot of times you can sell the canister and these little elbow parts and stuff. People break them. People lose them or whatever, so you can kind of part it out. A lot of times people will throw away a Dyson because it's not really 
suck it up right or whatever. It could have other issues and there could be parts in there that are worth the money. So it's worth your time if you don't mind tinkering with it a little bit and pulling off the parts. Um, they don't sell for a ton unless the canister is the best one that sells. But we got 14 shipped on this. It's just a little guy. It's only like this big and it shipped out first class. So we made a few bucks on it. I think we only paid five for the whole vacuum. Uh, Xbox 360 hard drive transfer cable. These always sell $11 shipped. goes out first class. They usually sell pretty quickly. Um, an older bit of electronic for the video game system, accessory or whatever, but still has some value to people. Disney the Lion King. This is the changing growing up Simba, I guess. I copied someone's listing, so hopefully that's right. It's from 94. It sold for $24 shipped. It was only, I think, $0.50 cents or a dollar at a garage sale, and it goes out first class. I just I have some bigger bubble mailer, so I'll just put it in the bubble mailer and ship it out that way, and it almost always is going first class for these small plush. Also, a Mighty Mouse plush, same situation, sold him for $17 shipped. Also, just went in one of those bubble mailers. It probably cost us four something to ship it out. Mars Attacks VHS. This is a Jack Nicholson and Pierce Bronson, I guess, VHS. This one sold for $8.07 on sale, 15% off. I got a bunch of these like sci-fi, horror, and different kind of old VHS. A lot of them are worth 10 to 12 bucks, so I listed a bunch of them. Might not be worth your time, but for me, I'll take the time to do it. A Kellogg's Promotional Batman Scope from 1966. At least that's what the date on it was. It ended up selling for $40 shipped. Worked out well like the, uh, it kind of goes up, oscillates would be the right word, um, or whatever, but uh, no, maybe not oscillates. I don't know. Someone knows. Some of you are smarter than me, but either way, it did f go up and down, so it could kind of get compact and not. Uh, seemed to work okay, though. You could see through it. Had a little bit of scuffs and marks, but we got 40 bucks shipped on that. I think someone said they were buying it for their Batman collection. Uh, we have a Cannibal Corpse Torture CD. It's, I don't know what this is. It's called the CD is called Torture. I guess it might be, I don't know if it's metal or what the actual, yeah, it is metal. Duh, I can't even read. Uh, I guess it's a metal CD. I've never heard of the band, but this one sold for eleven eleven on sale. Uh, we have a GE Smart Series camera. This is a 9 megapixel, so not a whole lot. Not a great camera brand per se, but we got eleven oh four for it on sale. A lot of times with these digital cameras, if they're older, I'll still list them. Sometimes you get one that's worth 15, 20, 30 bucks, even though it's an older digital camera and it's worth your time. Other times they don't have as much value like this one. Some HP 5657 ink. Got this for a dollar. It actually has a 50% tag on there, a little Sharpie. I didn't really take the time to get it off. I should have just crossed it out, but that was lazy of me. But these sold for 15 shipped. They go out first class. Easy listing. I still sell expired ink all the time. There is a little risk of return there, but for the most part, you're able to move it and make some money. Here's a Black & Decker Space Maker. A lot of people are on to the Space Maker stuff. This one I got for 5 bucks at a garage sale. Actually came with the manual. The problem was there's like a little flap that does the can opener part. Um, like the like you can open it up, I guess, and it's supposed to close. It won't latch close. Like it'll just keep falling down. So I put that in the description, sold it for parts are not working, but said it does work, just that latch won't latch. Still sold it for $47.49 on sale. So you probably could have got 70 or 80 bucks if it was in working condition perfectly. So look out for the space maker, the coffee makers, the little toaster oven things or whatever they are, the can openers, the space maker stuff. A lot of them can be valuable. Here's a cool one, guys. This is a adult. This is a large gold helmet. Uh, I think it's from the 90s based on what other comps were. There wasn't one exactly like mine, but the style seemed to fit that. This one was a size seven and a quarter to seven and three quarters. Got it for four bucks at an estate sale. Second day of the sale, so it was half, it was really eight bucks, but it was half off four. I uh, love that estate sale company; they're really great people. But, anyways, listed this guy for hundred and five bucks or hundred and ten bucks, something like that. It was really high because sometimes they were selling for a lot of money. There was no real reason I could tell why. Every once in a while, one was selling, and then others would sell for forty, thirty, fifty bucks. Um, I was. I told myself if someone offers me 65 or 70, I'll probably just take it. There's no reason to to hold on to it forever. Might as well just get it out of here. It's not in perfect shape. It was missing one of like the little pads on the inside there for your the cheek area or whatever. Ended up um, declining some offers around that 40 and 50 mark. Turned one down at 60. I counted it at 70, and he just declined my offer and went away. And I'm like, bummer. Maybe I missed it. Nope. Someone came through and bought it full price, and it wasn't an international buyer. It was someone in the states. They bought it and it shipped out for around 13 or 14 bucks, not too bad. And I was super stoked to get $104.49 on that guy. That was awesome. A Ghost World graphic novel sold for $11.99, just came in a big book buy, just scanned it for some money, let 12 bucks there. Johnny Cash, 
the world of Johnny Cash. This is a reel to reel. I really like selling reel to reels. They're not that common, which is why sometimes they can be valuable. When you're looking for them, if you can get them for cheap, try to pick them up. Every once in a while, you'll find a $30, $40 reel to reel. They can ship out media mail. I got this one. This one sold for $16.24 on a 10% off sale. I was happy with that. It only cost $2.80 to ship it. Uh, Family Party for the Wii sold for $10.19 on sale. A lot of the Wii Party games seem to sell pretty well, like the board game ones or whatever. If you have like Monopoly or stuff like that, they don't sell for a ton. They seem to have some value or at least people will consistently buy them. Here's a cool one, an Empire Plastics Blow Mold Santa Claus. This is just the face. It's a 17 inches of, from the top of the hat down to the chin or whatever. Got this for 5 bucks at a garage sale. It had one little hole like on the underside of the chin there, um, but it still seemed to work perfectly. There were no other holes or cracks that I could find. Listed it for $90, and it sold, obviously, before Christmas here. This one shipped out, I want to say a little bit more, about 20 bucks to ship it. Because I had to bubble wrap it real nice and get it in this box. It was around 18 to 20 bucks to ship it going to New York. And uh, it ended up uh, working out pretty well. They were happy with it. So 90 bucks there in the blow mold head. Uh, that's one I haven't found before. So that was really cool. An Escort Passport 8500 radar detector. Look out for these Escort radar detectors, the Passport ones. I sold one that did work for 119 or something shipped probably four months ago or something. This one did not work. It had some damage. It still sold for $35 for parts, and I only paid a buck for it at a garage sale. So if you can find these ones, some of them do super well. I got $35 shipped on that one. Uh, Canon ZR850 little camcorder here. There weren't many listed or sold on this camera. For whatever reason, there weren't a whole lot. There were a bunch of chargers you could buy and stuff like that. Mine did not have a battery charger, but it had a battery. I went ahead and ordered the charger online, one of those K-Star ones or whatever. They're usually 5 to 7 bucks, depending on which one you get. Paid the extra money, got it, tested the battery. It worked out, actually hauled a charge pretty well. Used the camera, it seemed to work, record all the functions. Hooked it up to the computer to make sure it could connect. It did, and ended up selling this one for $90 shipped. So 5 bucks plus about 6 something for the charger. We're in it for about 12 we sold it for 90 ship. These digital cameras still sell pretty well, even though people think they might be obsolete. A lot of people use them to transfer footage onto a computer or what have you. Uh, Sticks Caught in the Act DVD. This one sold for $12.82 on sale. Uh, I don't think it was like a 5% offer to watches or something like that. And that's what ended up helping, but it got out of here for $12.82. Some Ushio uh, halogen light bulbs. These are the la I think this is the last set I had. I had a bunch of these. I think this is the last one, or maybe there's one more coming up as a final one. Got $14.99 on that. New Jack City, uh, VHS, brand new sealed, sold for $7.19. Not a whole lot, but that did move out of here. Some uh, 2001 Oral-B Advantage toothbrushes, uh, brand new sealed. Not sure why some would want these. They're not that old. Um, I guess they're 19 years, but it's not like they're super, super old or anything. I got them for a dollar at a garage sale. I could tell on the back there was the date of 2001. I'm like, hey, I'll grab them. Maybe someone just really wants this type of toothbrush. And they ended up selling for 25 shipped. I bubble wrapped them and put them in a bubble mailer, and they went out first class, and the person did give me good feedback. So look out for that old sealed toothbrushes and stuff like that that's vintage. Maybe it's not even that old. It might still have some value if you can get it on a state sale or something. DJ Hero, this is a turntable. This is the receiver. I'm not going to say the model number, but you can look them up. It's on the back. That one sold for 22 shipped, and it goes out first class. We also have a Harley Davidson. Uh, this is a 2013, a Deadwood, South Dakota shirt with a wolf on the front. I think I paid two bucks at a garage sale and ended up selling for $18.74 on sale. I don't pick up a lot of the, the Harley shirts as much anymore unless I get a bunch or they're in a bigger size. A lot of times I'll just leave them because there's so much competition on the market for that. For just the generic black shirts with a logo, I'll usually look for the vintage stuff for sure or something kind of real unique. This one sold for $17 shipped. It's a Bakugan New Vistroya. I don't know, some kind of starter pack. It's brand new sealed. It ended up selling for $17 on the best offer. It was on sale 25% off. I've had it for a while. Someone offered $17 and I shipped it out. It went out first class. You can sell loose Baku Bakugan though. Get a bunch of them, lob them together. There's some money to be made there. Funko Pop Heroes. This is a vinyl uh, Green Lantern Hal Jordan figure. This is the number 11 one. Sold for $30 on a best offer. I had it listed at $35. No best offer. The person messaged me and said they'll do 30 bucks on it. I'm only in it for five. I went ahead and took it and then it shipped out first class. King Oil, the board game. This one was incomplete. It was missing only three or four pieces. My wife fortunately counted all these for me. She does a great job of that. I actually have another board game for her to count. So hopefully she'll do that for me. But um, 
it's one thing that she does, like when she's, you know, the, the, our oldest son, Zane, is, you know, taking a nap or whatever. She'll uh, go ahead and count the pieces while he's napping. So it gives um, her something to do. It helps me out so I can be ready to list it that night usually. So it's been really great to kind of find ways to work together. This one ended up selling for a $45 ship, though, for parts. We only paid 2 bucks for it. If it would have been complete, we probably would have sold it for 55 or 60 So we didn't even lose that much, even though it wasn't complete. Some Sari board game pieces. We have a 1950 Sari. It was not complete. I, for whatever reason, decided to list the pawns because they were selling every once in a while. And I've sold two sets so far. This one sold for $7.19. We probably made 3 bucks maybe on the deal. So not too bad. Maybe $2.50 or whatever. And I had four of these. There's four sets, I guess, in the, the game, so not a bad deal there. Another backgammon set, this one sold for $40 ship. We sold one in the last video for $48, bought three of them for $15. Bucks. This one sold for $40, and just the other day I sold the last one for $38. So these little backgammon sets can sell well. Just make sure they're complete, and the bigger ones usually do a little bit better. A Rothko Outback, yeah, this is like a utility or a tactical vest. Paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. It's a size extra large. It sold for $30 shipped. And I think it went out in a padded flat rate, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, PS3 lot of Lego games. There's Lego Movie and the Lego Marvel Super Heroes. They sold for 21 shipped. I want to say I paid 5 bucks for the pair. They did ship out first class. I know that. This one was not a great buy. The Bee Works Mushroom Garden uh, Fungi here. This is like an anime app or something like that. It's a little plush. It was in a big box of plush I bought. I think I paid a dollar for it because it looked unique. I hadn't seen it before. That's kind of what I do with plush. Find something that looks a little different. might pick it up. Finally sold on sale for $14. We did make some money because it went out first class, but not much. A Macron West Ham United 2011 jersey sold for $25. Bucks. This one was also $2 at a garage sale. Had a stain up on the collar, but I'm like, I could probably get it out. And sure enough, it did come out, and we got $25 bucks for that. A Panasonic remote here. Not going to go over the model number, but this is a DVD remote. It ended up selling for $19.54. I will say, now that I'm selling more combos... I won't sell as many of the DVD VCR combo remotes anymore. I'll probably hold on to them because I'm finding so many combos and I'm testing them out and trying to fix them that it would be better to maybe, you know, keep the remotes in case I find the actual unit. But 1954 on that. Bruce Lee, the Master Collection. Usually this comes with a slip cover. It did not. It was just the DVDs. Still sold for $24 shipped. Uh, this one sold really quickly within a day or so. This Bruce Lee set always sells for me. And it looks like, guys, that is it. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I know it went a little bit long. We've had a lot of sales lately. Aside from the past couple of days, it's kind of slowed down since we're approaching Christmas here. But hopefully you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know. Definitely try to, um, you know, take it easy and enjoy the holidays if you can. I know a lot of you have been busy. I know we've had a lot of issues with the post office and tracking updates and all that. I'm dealing with it too. I don't think you guys want to hear me complain about it, though. That's no fun. If you do, though, feel free to let me know. and Maybe we can talk about it sometime on, you know, on Instagram or whatever. But I'm dealing with it too. I've already had to refund one person. I've had some other people, though, that I'm working with and we're trying to move stuff. Most people are reasonable, guys. Most people understand. There's just a couple of crazies out there. And that's the, that's the thing for anything you do in life. Most people, I think, are reasonable. But there are always those other ones that kind of make it worse for the rest of us. So... Hope you guys are doing well. I hope sales are well. And just remember to, like I said, enjoy some time at the end of the year. It's been a crazy year for all of us, but hopefully you enjoy some with family and just be a little joyful with everything that's going on. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.